More now on the controversial gender reporting bill that took center stage at the Chino Valley School District meeting Thursday night. The school district voted four to one to support the bill that would require schools to notify parents within 72 hours if their student expresses a desire to identify as transgender. That includes wanting to use transgender facilities or different pronouns. The polarizing topic brought passionate remarks from both sides. Transgender youth already face overwhelming challenges and discrimination in their lives, and outing them to their parents only adds to the burden. We must not allow our schools to become a place of danger and fear for our students. This is a heart issue, and parents need to get involved. Our school system, our government sucks. It sucks, and it's not a reflection on this board, it's a reflection on California. They need less control. Parents need more control. The school district's approval of the proposed state assembly bill is simply symbolic at this point because the bill is not yet approved by the state legislature. And noting the Democratic majority, the bill is likely to face an uphill battle. Now, for more on this, we are joined by the assemblyman who introduced this legislation, Bill Saley from the 63rd District in the Inland Empire. Assembly member, thank you so much for joining us in studio tonight. Thanks for having me. Let's start with why you think that this is important, why this is needed in our state. Yeah, so this bill was triggered because last year there were several cases that were filed where parents were suing school districts because the schools are transitioning their kids without their consent or knowledge. And the whole thing's been reversed. Schools are now determining what information can and can't be shared with parents. And I just felt that's totally wrong. Parents are responsible for their kids, their well-being, their mental health, their physical health. And I don't think it's appropriate for schools to keep parents in the dark, especially when their kids might be um, going through gender dysmorphia, which is um, a very serious issue. Parents need to know. And just to be clear on what exactly this is, you're not saying that the parents necessarily can veto the kid's decision. You're just saying that the parents need to know that this is happening, right? Correct. It's just a parental notification. What we're talking about here, we're not outing anyone. This is a student who's made the decision to, tra to uh, transition at school. So they're changing their name. They're using different facilities. And schools right now are keeping that secret from parents by district policy. Well, you would be outing them to their parents then, right? Right, but there's no, never ever in the history of our jurisprudence have we said that kids have a privacy interest from their parents. They don't. Parents have a right to raise their kids. In fact, they have a constitutional right to guide them and to raise them. And I don't think the schools have a right to keep parents in the dark in any case. Is this K through 12, the bill? Yes, okay. K through 12. Okay, so we heard from, just in that quick little soundbite, from the young person there who is against this, basically saying that our schools are a safe haven. Homes is not for so people who say that. What do you say? I would say I think it's wrong for the government to presume that parents and families are not a safe haven for the kids. I agree there's probably a limited number of circumstances where the home may be a dangerous place, but we have mandated reporting, we have child welfare services, we have all kinds of systems in place that are designed to protect uh, minors at home. But the default position of the government cannot be that uh, the home's not safe and therefore no parent can know what's going on with their kids. What do you say to those parents or kids kids out there last mm -hmm. night that spoke out there wasn't a single kid that spoke in favor of what you're doing that are scared about this what do you say to them i would say your parents love you i would say that your family has the best interest for you and they want to be involved in your life and help, help guide your decisions i reject the idea that some stranger at school some teacher um, cares more about that kid's overall well-being than their own parents. I just fundamentally reject that. I think nobody cares more, loves more, is going to provide more for their kids than their own parents. What's your path forward? Because as noted yeah. earlier, it's a Democratic majority and it's likely going to face an uphill battle. It is, but um, I need to educate the public. And so the public now is learning that schools do have this policy in place. And I think those policies need to be challenged. So even if this bill doesn't pass, we want the public to know that schools are withholding this information and they should be demanding answers from their school district on why they have these policies. Are you getting any Democratic support on this? Uh, from the legislature? Yeah. No. No. So, no. That, so then, so then that would be pretty bill. clear that there's, there's not really a path forward to pass this Correct. In the Democratic supermajority. What about the, the, the broader issues, though, uh, of uh, transgender mm -hmm. related issues when it comes to schools, which is a very nuanced topic, yes. which a lot of people are talking about now, even though the number of students that are actually impacted are pretty low. 
Um, where do you think California should go on that topic more broadly as the whole nation looks at this topic? Yeah, I, my position on this is that it's generally a, a private family matter. So if, if, if a family's made the decision to transgender, then I do think it's appropriate for the schools to support those kids and provide support services at school. And if there are parents that are not um, encouraging or welcoming, I, I, I do believe that kids should still receive support services at school. So counseling or wraparound services. Um, I think adults are free to do whatever they want. But I do think kids are different, and I do think that the parent-child relationship is sacred, and that's that's really what I'm focused on. I want to know more about the, 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 your why, because you mentioned that there are a lot of parents who are suing school districts. So what can you tell us about that on, on that front? Because you, you also said that the schools are transitioning kids without letting parents know, and by that you mean? Socially. Socially. They're giving them new okay. names, new identities. They're keeping separate files at school, one file for to use with the kid at school and then they'll refer to the student differently in front of their parents or, or with their parents and the parents don't have access to those files. So that is happening. Those lawsuits have been filed uh, for doing that without their knowledge and consent. And there was a Department of Education guidelines that, guidance that went out to the school district saying that they should um, enact these policies and they're declaring that kids have a privacy interest from their parents. Again, this is uncharted water. Yeah. We've never, ever said that in our country, that kids have a privacy well, interest from their isn't parents. Isn't there some of that when it comes to abortion, though? There is by statute. But where, that, where, I, where I, kids could get an abortion at a certain age and not tell their parents? Twelve years and older now, you have, uh, by law, not, not constitution, by law, they made a law that says that kids have, uh, can make medical decisions. And we have a bill in the legislature now, they want to put abortion clinics on high school campuses so kids can get abortions without their parents even knowing. So, that, I mean, that is a pretty dramatic example of yes. not having parental <laughs> consent yeah. or knowledge as well. Um, this is a very interesting issue. We appreciate you uh, coming all the way here from the Inland Empire tonight to talk about it. Bill E. Saley, Thank you. Um, we appreciate your perspective. Thank you. and, um, and we welcome to have a, more conversations with more people as the whole nation sort of grapples with this issue going forward. Thank you.